dug up, down low, chance, knocked away, another chance, off the goal post, they score! There's Hayes, Jimmy Hayes, the six foot five, prototypical power forward, 220 pounds, he gets the rebound out in front, and what did we say they were gonna bring early? Speed, speed, and they brought it quick. BC overwhelms Colorado College in the offensive zone. Watch them battle for this puck as Pamela throws it in front, and Creeder's in front, and Jimmy Hayes, well, he buries it. The junior gets the first goal of the tournament for the Eagles. Tap into the open net for Hayes. Now they dump it down low on her mat left, centering feet off the pass from the bottom of the circle. Sean scores! A bullet! And we're tied to one! Oh, what a great job of using the screen to get a shot off as Steven Schultz just lets a bullet go here on the man advantage. And you can see why their power play clicks along at 22%. Set up by Gunsell, Schultz just comes in, walks to the middle of the ice, Ben. He creates his own space. As the puck comes across, you'll see he creates his own time and space. He gets to a great shooting area, and he just rips it through the legs of Barry Almeida, and he buries the goal to make it a 1-1 game. This is an absolute rip. Muse, no chance. He reacted when the puck was by him. Here comes Jaden Schwartz. Pulls the trigger. Pants into the tent. He scores! What a finish! Yeah, this kid's just special. Jaden Schwartz is just a special, special player. And Scott Owens knows it. He said the other day that, yeah, we feel pretty fortunate to have him here and his brother's playing here as well. And this is just a phenomenal, phenomenal effort, individual effort coming down the wing. And BC's going to have to find an answer for this kid. Watch the move here. The puck possession and control. The ability to shoot and drive the net to pick up his own rebound. Samuelson doesn't take him out of the play. And Schwartz is able to finish. But this is just a high, high compete level and a sick, sick set of hands. He's not doing that slow-mo. No, it's amazing. Another chance they score. They take a two-goal lead. There's Rylan Schwartz giving them a two-goal lead. Well, guess who set him up? His brother. I mean, this is getting ridiculous here. Jaden Schwartz behind the net wins the puck battle, finds his brother Rylan, and Jerry York's got to take a timeout or calm his team down. As this is just a great setup. Watch. Jaden Schwartz gets behind the net. And he gets himself in position. And I said he's got good vision, but this, oh. this is just so quick. Happens so fast. And his brother, Ryland, buries it. Quick one-timer. No chance for Muse. And BC's got to find their game. Wow. Boston College now. 85 seconds left in a period. Quick step. And it's flipped in there. The Tigers on the move. And they score! Oh, what a play! Symmetry makes it 4-1. to one. Uh, button down the hatches here because the roof is flying off in St. Louis. Everyone is shocked. At, it's got to be shocked at what's going on. It's Simmons Trace shorthanded. And this is, he, there's no way he should be able to win this foot race back to the net. And he beats, driving the net hard, he wins the battle and beats Muse five hole backhand. And I love this move. Just a beautiful move. Forehand, backhand. Symmetrice, big, strong junior, six foot two, 204 pounds. Ben, he gets his fifth goal of the season. It's a shorthanded one. Wow. A thrill it's got to be for those two guys to play together. Here's Carey with a shot. Good stop. Now he scores. Paul oh, Carey makes it a 4 2 game. Uh, BC needed some momentum to go their way, and this is what they do. They score off the rush with all the speed they have, a poor defensive decision. By the Tigers leads to a great offensive opportunity and a nice goal here by the Boston College Eagles. Just a quick shot in. The driving the net hard is Patrick Brown. I'm not sure who gets this, if Carey gets it or Brown gets it, but either way, it's a big goal for the Eagles. I think it's going to stick with Carey. St. Louis Brass, I'm sure, is here watching their first overall pick from this past summer, 14th. Overall selection, there he is, just a great young man. Big smile on his face. And a tremendous, tremendous game for an 18-year-old. That's never easy when you're 18 years old to come into college hockey. Fortunately for him, he had an older brother who was there. But he's such a talent. He really is. 35.
Five seconds left. Colorado College power play. Up 4-2 down low. There he is. Knocked it and he scored. I'm not, I'm not sure how you defend this kid because he's so slippery. He finds his way into the area, scoring areas all the time with no one touching him. And BC just lets him skate through the middle. You got to get in his way. Give him a shot because he is just going berserk on Boston College right now. Watch as this play goes in. No, no one takes him. They just let him go to the net. And uh, he's, he's the wrong guy to let do that. You've got to let him know that he can't skate through the crease that easy. And he's having a great night in a rink that I think he's going to have many, many great nights in the future. Into the middle for his brother, knocked away. He's already got one. Symmetry's trying to get another one. Short-handed, that is. Centered it in front. Oh, he put it in, and it's now a 6-2 lead. Oh, my goodness. Alexander Krushelniski buries a short-handed goal, and I got to tell you, this is David Symmetry's just outworking the opponent. And this is another short-handed goal, his sixth snipe of the season for Krushelniski. Symmetry and Krushelniski in the short-handed situations. Watch the work here. Watch the strength. Takes his man out, and he stays with it, and no one's coming back to help out. It's too easy, Sean. It is. Wait. I mean, Gibbons back on his line out there. Moby Baker finalist. Atkinson on the way. He's number 13. Here's another chance. Rapuzzi, and he scores! Fifth odd man rush of the game, of the period, rather. William Rapuzzi, 21 year old. From Anchorage, Alaska comes in and buries one on John Musen. I started to feel bad for John Musen this game because this team is not competing for him, and he's had too many odd man chances against. Here's a look at the replay. And just another 50-50 puck. They lose the race to it, and it's a, it's a puck you don't need to go after. A lot of bounces going CC's way. Seven to two. There's a chance, and Howe able to freeze that one with 16.46 left in the game. And Joe Howe, Sean, has been an enormous difference maker. Yeah, he's real calm and collected in the net. He's a great competitor. The way he challenges shots is the way, as a goaltending coach would say, you want to see. It's calm, but it's quick. And he gets himself into position. And boy, that rebound control. You cannot talk about rebound control enough. Back-to-back 30-goal -back seasons. But Don, they score, and he scores right on cue to make it 7-3 to three now. Well, you see the awkward rebound comes out, and it goes to the wrong guy. And Howe's had Atkinson's number in this game, but Atkinson finally is able to bury one behind the goaltender, Joe Howe to make it a 7-3 game. And just a quick shot through by Samuelson goes wide, and Gibbons makes a beautiful play. Atkinson finds the twine. Buries a beauty here, and just a nice play by Gibbons right on the stick of Atkinson, and he gets his 31st of the season. Yeah. Get ready for tomorrow. Here comes Almino with a shot, he scores! A bullet up top! dead yet. No, nope, that was a big one. Now they're only three away. They can come back and, you know, maybe that's part of the problem now. CC has such a big lead that it's going to be tough. And like I said earlier, there's no good cushion against this Boston College team. Nope. They have so much offense. Here's going to play a good job on the three on two. A nice quick shot that beats Howe on the blocker side high. Alameda with a ripper. That's just a bullet. Top shelf. A dozen seconds left. Here's a chance, one last chance for the Tigers. They score! An emphatic finish by Rapuzzi. Well, it's just that kind of night for the Eagles. Everything was seemingly going against them. And it just continued. And I believe that's Rapuzzi's second goal. It's hard it to keep track of all the goals here. It is, buddy. But this goes down as a power play goal, and that means that would be their third power play goal of the game. Look at him head up all the way. Uh, oh, it's just a textbook looking shot there, wasn't it? Yes, it was. A snipe indeed.